Hey guys, uh, today I was thinking about this verse and I just had a ton going on this morning, so this is a little bit later, but I was thinking about this, this verse and the last part that Paul talks about and uh, I thought what better time to talk about this as I'm out working out here this afternoon, um, got rhythm night tonight, so looking forward to that. But right now, in that section, that last part, he says, be strong. So, of course, what does that mean to be strong, to actually... Um, is he talking about physical strength? Of course not. He's talking about, remember, standing firm in the faith, uh, acting like men. And as we've been looking at this week, what that means is to look to Jesus, our number one best example we will ever have of what it mean, means to be a man. And, and so being strong is not something that is, for lack of a better word, um, just being a meathead, right? Just being a guy who can lift heavy weight, do lots of things. Again, being strong in our spirit is something that requires discipline. It's something that requires humility and it requires meekness. In fact, when we think about those things, um, meekness and humility, we think that's the opposite of strength. But in reality, according to God's ways, it's actually what is the strongest we can be when we're humble and we're meek. In fact, the definition of meekness in the Bible uh, is actually strength under restraint. In other words, you're not flaunting things around. You're not saying, you know, I can do this and I can do that. No, you're actually humble before the Lord and others, but confident in Him, strong in Him. Paul talks about this a lot through his letters. Um, in 2 Corinthians especially, God says to Paul, he says that my strength, God's talking about himself, my strength is perfected in your weakness. In other words, when we realize who God is and who we are not, that we're just human, that we're sinners needing salvation in Jesus, that's when true strength comes into our lives. Strength from God, not from us. We can only get so far on our strength. When we rely on God, who is our strong tower, our rock, our defender, our shield, he is the strength that we want to rely on. He's the one that can handle all of our burdens and, and cares. That's why Jesus said, all you who are heavy laden, come to me and you will find rest. Right? That, that we can cast our cares on God. He can handle it. So when we consider what does it mean to be strong, it means relying on God. It means humbling ourselves before Him. It means being meek, taking that strength that we have in the Lord and not using it for our own gain, not using it to you know, kind of lord over others and, and, and be haughty and all this stuff, but to be gentle, to be kind, to be genuine, to love, to serve, that's real strength, guys. And this is what Paul is getting at. This is what Jesus did while he was here on earth. I mean, all the way back to Philippians 2, that scripture we first began to look at when this all started, that Jesus, who is God, who had every right to not go to the cross for us. He could have called 10,000 of angels down and saved himself and all this. He didn't. He exercised true strength by humbling himself to God's plan and going all the way to the cross, even unto death, for you, for me, for all of us. That's real strength. To lay our lives down, to sacrifice for those that we love. For your wife, that means for her when you give up, when you give up yourself and instead pursue after God, you can better love her. When you rely on his strength, you can better love her. When you look to him to be your rock, you can better lead when you're following him. So what does it mean to be strong? <laughs> it means humble yourself before the Lord and seek strength from him and love others the way Jesus does. Serve, protect sacrifice. So let's get after it today, guys. We're going into the weekend. Love your wives well, and we'll talk to you 
beginning of next week.